Russia's premier stealth fighter, the Sukhoi Su-57, known to NATO as the Felon, is already a formidable piece of military hardware. It represents Moscow's answer to Western fifth-generation aircraft like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The Su-57 was designed from the ground up to achieve air superiority. It blends stealth characteristics, super maneuverability, and advanced avionics into a single, powerful platform. Its primary mission has always been to dominate the skies, hunting other fighters, and clearing the way for other Russian forces. This aircraft is the pinnacle of Russian aerospace engineering, a symbol of its military modernization efforts and its ambition to project power on a global scale. However, recent developments suggest a dramatic expansion of the Su-57's role, shifting it from a pure air-to-air -air fighter to a multi-role strike platform with unprecedented capabilities. Reports have emerged that Russia is adapting its new hypersonic missile, the 3M22 Zircon, for carriage and launch by the Felon. This is not a minor upgrade, it is a fundamental transformation. Giving a stealth fighter the ability to launch a hypersonic weapon creates a threat that is incredibly difficult to counter. It combines the elusiveness of a low observable aircraft with the near unstoppable velocity of a next generation missile, forging a weapon system that could hold even the most well defended targets at risk from incredible distances. The integration of such a powerful weapon is a complex engineering challenge. The Zircon is a large and heavy missile originally designed for launch from warships and submarines. Adapting it for an internal weapons bay on a fighter jet requires significant modifications to both the missile and the aircraft. The Su-57's internal bays would need to be reconfigured to accommodate the weapon's dimensions, and the aircraft systems must be able to communicate with the missile, providing it with targeting data before launch. This entire process demonstrates a clear strategic priority for Russia to equip its most advanced fighter with its most advanced missile, creating a synergy that multiplies their individual strengths. This move signals a major shift in aerial warfare doctrine. For decades, the primary challenge for strike aircraft was evading detection on the way to a target. Stealth technology was the solution. Now, Russia is adding another layer to the problem for its adversaries. Even if the Su-57 is detected, the missile it launches travels so fast that the time between detection and impact is terrifyingly short. This combination aims to bypass modern air defense networks entirely, making the Su-57 a true first day of war asset, capable of striking high-value targets with a very high probability of success long before an enemy can mount an effective response. The 3M22 Zircon missile is not just another fast weapon, it represents a leap in missile technology. Its most defining feature is its incredible speed. The Zircon is a hypersonic weapon, which means it travels at speeds greater than Mach 5 or 5 times the speed of sound. Reports indicate that it can reach blistering speeds of up to Mach 9. To put that into perspective, that is roughly 9 times faster than a commercial airliner and more than 2 miles per second. This extreme velocity makes it exceptionally difficult to track and intercept. Existing air defense systems, designed to counter slower cruise missiles and aircraft, would have mere seconds to react, a window so small it makes a successful interception almost impossible with current technology. Beyond its breathtaking speed, the Zircon also boasts an impressive range. It is estimated to be capable of hitting targets over 1,000 kilometers away. This extended reach is a massive strategic advantage. It allows the launching platform, in this case, the Su-57, to stay far outside the range of most enemy air defense systems. The fighter can fire its weapon from a position of relative safety, a concept known as standoff capability. This greatly enhances the survivability of the aircraft and its pilot, as they do not have to penetrate deep into heavily defended enemy airspace to deliver a devastating blow. The Zircon effectively extends the battlefield, putting assets once considered safe deep within a country's territory at risk. To guide it to its target with precision, the Zircon employs a sophisticated guidance system. During its mid-course flight phase, as it screams through the upper atmosphere, it likely uses an inertial navigation system combined with satellite updates to stay on course. As it approaches its target for the terminal phase of its attack, it is believed to activate an advanced active radar seeker. This seeker can autonomously identify and lock onto the target, even if the target is moving, such as a large warship. This fire and forget capability means the Su-57 does not need to maintain a data link with the missile after launch, allowing the pilot to immediately turn away and escape. What truly makes the Zircon so menacing is the plasma cloud it generates during its hypersonic flight. 
As the missile travels through the atmosphere at such high speeds, the friction with the air creates a sheath of ionized gas, or plasma, around it. This plasma cloud has the unique property of absorbing radar waves, effectively making the missile stealthy during its flight. So, not only is it traveling at an almost uncatchable speed, but it is also incredibly difficult for radar systems to detect and maintain a lock-on. This combination of speed, range, and stealthy flight characteristics makes the Zircon a true game-changer in modern missile technology. Combining the Su-57's stealth features with the Zircon's hypersonic capabilities creates a synergistic effect that is far greater than the sum of its parts. The Su-57 is designed to be a low observable aircraft. This means its shape and special radar absorbent materials are engineered to make it very difficult for enemy radar to detect, track and target. It can fly into contested airspace with a much lower chance of being spotted compared to older, non-stealthy fighters. This stealth is its first layer of defense, allowing it to get much closer to a target area without setting off alarms, creating an element of surprise that is crucial in any military operation. The Zircon missile then provides the knockout punch. Once the Su-57 reaches an optimal launch position, it can release the Zircon from its internal weapons bay. This is a critical detail because carrying weapons internally preserves the aircraft's stealth profile. External weapons create sharp angles that reflect radar energy, making the aircraft easier to see. By keeping the large Zircon missile inside, the Su-57 remains hidden until the moment of attack. At that point, the problem for the defender shifts from finding a stealthy aircraft to dealing with a hypersonic missile that is already rocketing towards its destination at an incredible speed. This combination fundamentally changes the offensive calculus. A Su-57 armed with a Zircon can threaten high-value, heavily fortified targets that were previously considered safe. Think of command and control centers buried deep underground, major air defense radar installations, or even entire aircraft carrier strike groups at sea. An aircraft carrier, for example, is protected by a multi-layered defense system of ships and aircraft. The Su-57's stealth could allow it to bypass the outer layers, while the Zircon's speed and maneuverability could overwhelm the carrier's close-in weapon systems, presenting a credible threat to the most powerful symbols of naval power. The psychological impact of such a weapon system cannot be overstated. The knowledge that a stealth fighter could be lurking hundreds of kilometers away, capable of launching an almost indefensible strike at any moment, creates constant pressure on a potential adversary. It forces them to spend enormous resources on developing new countermeasures, such as space-based sensors and high-energy laser weapons, which are still largely in the experimental stage. This combination of stealth and hypersonic speed aims to make traditional defensive strategies obsolete, giving the Su-57 a unique and powerful offensive potential that few other aircraft in the world can match. The development of systems like the Su-57 and Zircon Duo is a clear sign that we are entering a new era of aerial warfare. For the past few decades, the focus has been on stealth, making aircraft invisible to radar. This drove the development of the F-22, F-35, and China's J-20. However, Russia's strategy shows that stealth is no longer the only factor. The new paradigm is about combining stealth with extreme speed and range. It is a layered approach to defeating defenses. The stealth of the aircraft gets the weapon into position, and the hypersonic speed of the missile ensures the kill, making defenses irrelevant. This technological leap will force a major evolution in military strategy and defense spending worldwide. Nations will have to rethink how they protect their critical assets. Air defense can no longer be a static line of radars and missile launchers on the ground. The future of defense will likely rely on a distributed network of sensors, including those in space, that can provide early warning of a hypersonic launch. Interceptors will need to be far faster and more agile than anything currently in service. This creates a new and very expensive arms race, focused not just on building better fighters, but on building defenses that can counter these hypersonic threats. Furthermore, the proliferation of such technology could change geopolitical dynamics. When a single weapon system can credibly threaten a nation's most protected assets from long range, it alters the balance of power. It gives a country like Russia the ability to project power and create an anti-access or area denial bubble that is extremely difficult to penetrate. This could make potential adversaries more hesitant to intervene in regions where these systems are deployed. 
The Su-57 and Zircon combination becomes a powerful tool of deterrence, shaping diplomatic and military decisions without a single shot ever being fired. Ultimately, the integration of the Zircon missile with the Su-57 fighter is more than just an upgrade. It is a glimpse into the future of air combat. The skies of tomorrow will be dominated by platforms that blend stealth, speed, networking, and artificial intelligence. The advantage will go to those who can detect the enemy first, launch a weapon from a safe distance, and deliver that weapon to its target faster than the enemy can react. The Su-57 and Zircon are at the forefront of this evolution, pushing the boundaries of what is possible and forcing every major military power in the world to adapt or risk being left behind in this new, high-speed battle space.